Man, look at this. Isn't this crazy looking? It looks like the hand. You see the hand? You see it? Like the hand is like popping up off the page or something. You see that? But I assure you, that is not a hand popping up off the page. It is a hand. And it does look like it. But it's not popping up off the page. What this person did, they used curved lines to make it look like that hand has popped up off the page. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they got a sheet of paper, they put the hand on it. You know how you did when you was little, then you got a piece of paper and you started penciling, you started going around your hand and then you made like turkeys and stuff out of them. Yeah, but that person, I bet they did the same thing, except they used curved lines to make their hand look like it's coming up off the page. It's like an optical illusion. It's not really coming up off the page, but it looks like it is because the way they drew it. Here's another one that I thought was really cool. Booyah! Isn't that crazy? At first glance, it looked like the orange ones was popping up off the page. But then you look a little harder, then it looks like the green ones are popping up off the page. It's just ridiculous. So I thought we would do one of these too. Look at that, there's another one for you. Doesn't it look awesome though? I really, really like it. So we're gonna have to do us one. Oh yeah, here we go. And I know what you're gonna say. The first thing you're gonna say is, oh, Mr. P, that's too hard. Uh, that's the sound of you crying if you didn't know. I assure you that is not. So we're gonna pick a color, whatever color you want. I, I guess I'm gonna use yellow. I'm pretty much, pretty much sure that it'll show up any little thing that I do on this paper will show up on the camera pretty well. There we go. All right. So I'm using yellow. First thing, okay, you have to do first is to write your name on your paper, guys, okay? Very important. First project of the year. Start it off right. Write your name on your paper and your teacher's name, okay? Now, First step is we're going to draw straight lines, the straight lines part of the assignment. We start on one side and we're just going to draw a straight line all the way across. Now if you want to use a ruler so you can get the straight lines really, really straight, you can. You don't have to, but if you're just one of those people that have to have straight, straight, straight lines, you can do that. And you don't have to because I can do the rest of it. Watch this, watch this. See that? This is a really big X. And that's really all you want. You want a couple of lines, but you want them all to cross at that one point, that part right there. Right there. That's one of the important things. So if you want to use a ruler, you can do that to make sure you get it right there in that one spot. I have another trick for you though. I have another trick for you. To make sure it goes through that same spot, Start close to that spot right there. Start close to it. Go through it. And then once you go through it, you can continue the line on down. And then you're going to pick that line back up where you started. And you continue it on down. That's the little trick. That's the trick you can use. Because so you make sure it goes through that same spot. That's, that's really important. It has to go through that same spot. All lines that you create has to go through that same spot. So I'm gonna do the trick again. I'm gonna start really close, make sure it goes through that same spot, and then I can continue the line on down, boop, and then come back and get the, get the other side of it. You know what this kinda looks like? Kind of like some pizza pie, all right? With the triangles, you have the section of the pizza pie. So, we're going to pick the section of the pizza pie. Here we go. I'm going to pick this section right here. And what I would like to do is draw a curve line, like so. It's important for the line to be a curve. <laughs> and if you look at it, watch this, watch this. It's like a smiley face. It's like a smiley face. It's like a smiley face. That's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> but we don't want a smiley face. We want a curved line. And we're going to skip down a little ways. And we're going to put another 
curved line. Please make sure that it is a curved line. I'm going to skip down and do a little another one, a little bit, right here. I'm just going to put three. So that gives me one, two, three, four spaces to color in on that specific pizza pie. Okay. Let's go to the next section of a pizza pie. You know what we're going to do with this section? Nothing right now. We're going to skip it. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. And this is where we're going to draw the curved line again. Yeah. Well, we look like smiley faces. Yes. Let's do another one. Curved. And then we do another one. Uh oh, it's going to go off the page. Ah! Pfft. That's okay, but luck is going to curve right back on about right here. Booyah! Look at that. It actually went off the page a little bit, but it curved right back. You can do that. It happens sometimes. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so this section right here, you tell me, are we going to curve it or are we going to skip it? Huh? Huh? Skip it, man. I got some smart cookies out there in the audience. Yeah, you're going to skip it. So I hope you recognize the pattern. Here we go. We're going to curve and then we're going to skip it. Draw nothing in there. We're going to curve and then we're going to skip it. Draw nothing in there. And then we're going to curve and then we're going to skip it. Yeah. And then we're going to curve. Yeah. And then we're going to skip it. Yeah. So then we're done with that. So let me go ahead and do the rest of the curve lines. Make sure they curve or the effect that bubble up off the page effect will not work and lets you curve the line. Boom and boom and we're done. We're done with that section, right? We're done with that section. So we're going to put the pencil down for a moment and we're going to pick up the crayons. Now the rule that I gave my class is you can pick one color. I think I'm going to try. Maybe I'll go with this one. The thing that you have to watch out for, since you're using construction paper, you have to watch out that the color of the construction paper will go well with the crayon color that you chose. So I'm going to test it on the back and see if it shows up really well. Yeah, that shows up really, really well. That's good. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this color. This is actually a red violet. Okay. Now, everything is in a pattern here. You see the pattern? We're going to color in a pattern as well. We're going to keep to that same pattern. This one, we're going to go ahead and color the first section of this particular pizza pie. We're going to color it. Now notice I'm still staying in the lines and I'm still cleaning up my artwork. That's a term that I introduced for the first time last school year. Cleaning up your artwork means you take the time to make sure you have one solid block of color. Guys, there's a big difference between this and this. You see that? Huge, huge difference. In this section, I see all kinds of yellow spaces that was left. We don't want to leave that. We want to darken everything in just like that, okay? Darken it in. Now, I'm not going to take your time and do it right now, um, but I'm going to do it off camera. So, we're going to color this one, we're going to skip this one, and we're going to color this one. The same pattern. Color this one, we're going to skip this one, and then we're going to color this one. We're going to color this one, we're going to skip this one, and we're going to color this one. I'm going to do this off camera right quick, and then I'm going to come back and you get to see what it all looks like with the magic of YouTube. <laughs> Ta-da! Almost done. Just that quickly. Yeah, I know. Really cool, right? I love the magic of TV. All right. So if you're coloring like I am, nice and dark, making sure you don't leave any spaces, nice solid block of color, then this is probably as far as you're going to get on the first uh, day working on this. This right here. So the goal on the first day is to s get this much of your artwork done, okay? You want this much of it done. And then we can stop right here. And let me
Nice and dark. That's what I'm talking about. That's clean up your artwork right there. It's hot. What today? Wow. She got lots of clean up. I'm already done. He's not leaving for